Hello, judge and jury. As entomologists, we were called to investigate and find out the time of death of this, this case that we were all here for today. As you know, the victim was killed through a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, we found the body in the middle of October, and uh, the lower half of the body still had flesh on it, but the top half was skeletal. After we got the call, we started to plan our approach. There are a few things to take in consideration when observing scenarios like this. The thing, these things that we'd like to take into consideration are the environment around the crime scene, the average temperature in the area, and the cause of death. On October 12th, when arriving to the body, we knew that some time had passed since the top half was still skeletal. This meant that we did not know which method of insect analysis we needed to use. When visiting the body, we took some samples of the insects. We took some to preserve in containers and others we took to let them grow in other containers. After we did that, we then took all the containers, put them in our cases, and brought them back to the lab. Back in the lab, we preserved the insects in ethanol. Not only does it preserve them, but it also kills them. After a few calculations, we also found out that the average temperature was 15 degrees Celsius. We then began studying the insects and found that the colder the temperature, the longer it takes for each stage to move to the next. From our studying, we found that there were two types of flies on the dead body. These types of flies were the California vomitora and the Fremora regina. Both are common species of flies amongst the first to arrive on a corpse. This is when we decided to use the insect analysis method of maggot age and development. After further studying of the flies, it was determined that the California vomitora that was collected was just getting ready to enter the pre-pupil stage. This was determined by observing the size and number of spiracular slits on the instar and looking at the life cycle of a California vermitoria fly, as well as date of pupation and behavior. By doing some calculations with the life cycle of a fly and the temperature, we found that it takes 9.3 days to get to the pre-pupil stage from the third instar. So this means when the insects were collected on October 12th, they were a minimum of nine days old, meaning that the eggs were laid on October 4th or before. That being said, this type of fly shows up quite quickly after a body has died, meaning that they showed up soon after death. Using the same method of study for the Formia regina fly, the oldest stage was the pupil stage when collected. We then calculated that the eggs could not have been laid any later than October 3rd. Now, you may be confused with two different dates of death. Well, which one is it? Well, the Formia regina fly would have to have its eggs laid earlier to be in the pupil stage. So that would mean that the date of death is October 3rd. This is also supported by the fact that both of these flies are species that get to the body soon after death. We are the entomologists. Remember, work hard, stay humble. See you in the next one. See ya.